and everybody. Um, on my way to work again after dropping off my son. And I keep, I keep running into the same situation. Um, not, I don't talk about it probably at all, but I am on a twin flame journey. And it has to be the most fucked up, complicated situation I've ever been exposed to. Um, and to this morning I woke up, like, because I have these prophetic dreams. Like, if I can explain to you guys the type of dreams that I have about future things that happen and past things that have happened, and just the dreams. And then I wake up and I have to write write them down if I remember or <clears throat> things like that so this morning I woke up after an, an intense dream uh, part of it was just a police officer I was sitting waiting for somebody to um, to come to pick them up right and I got my car keys in, and I'm just looking at my phone waiting on them to come out and cop says open the window right and then um, reaches in grabs my keys and throws them out of my car and then was, proceeds to write me a ticket and so me being the hothead that I am I went off on him I was going off I was like you can't do that that is absolutely against the law and you're gonna lose your job and all that other stuff you know long story short he you know for some reason the cop disappeared I don't know I haven't had time to interpret the dream but anyway I just woke up and I had a feeling it just like I just wanted to give up it hasn't been that long that I found my my twin flame um but it's almost like I don't even exist to him it's almost like you know playing fantasy you know playing a fucking game you know in my head and I'm just like okay I know I'm not bonkers cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs but I just had it in my heart I was just like look I have to to stop you know living in the fantasy world living in in uh, a world in my dreams and in my higher self and all that kind of stuff and then I started to remember remember how impatient I am I'm a very very impatient woman and a lot of the things that I got in life and that I have received in life have been through long trials and long tribulations a lot of the most amazing things that have happened to me in my life, including my son. My son, I was in the hospital for about two months. He was in the hospital for one month. Um, like, every single morning I woke up, they were poking and prodding me. They were, um, they had these leg compression things on my legs. They were um, giving me um, these shots that stung every single morning and my son is about to be five years old that went by so quick you know I felt like I was just in the hospital you know fighting for my life and his life you know and so it's like the blessing that came out of that way is my beautiful handsome intelligent smart beautiful I've said those things but young boy and um sorry I look a mess but it's okay I'm gonna come up one day um but it's like I want to succeed you know in my mission in the universe because ever since I was a young girl you know I have I knew I had a mission I just kept forgetting it like I would repeat things to myself and I would draw things uh, over and over and over in order to get myself to remember things it's like 
my higher self has so much knowledge but my higher self feeds me through like a uh, one of those little bird drop feeders you know in order to not overwhelm me with all of the details and all of the excess of information my higher self is just feeding me small portions so that I can come to the conclusions on my own so back to the, the uh, you know twin flame situation like in, in my opinion I I felt and I continue to feel that this specific person is my twin flame and I don't the only reason I say that because I I do believe in love more than 90% of the people like I I love the idea of love I love love I love the feeling I love seeing other people hold hands and in love the concept of love intrigues me beyond anything I've been engaged three times been married once um you know I've been in a couple different relationships uh, actually that's not bad I've been in a, a lot of relationships you know where I would give my all and pursue it and I I would give them chances and chances because I'm like I believe in the option of love like opportunity of love it's a it's a blessing it's a fucking blessing to have love you are lucky if you have love not just romantic love but people that love you and support you and all that kind of stuff because now now I'm just gonna not gonna say now in society I'm just talking about in general we have gone off course of what actual true love is we expect I've already said we expect to be fairy tales and all that kind of stuff but rewind love is the catalyst to change the world and everyone has a lot of music has said it you know all you need is love love um by music soul child um ndre i'm ready for love like love has been wrote written about so much love has been um love has been around for a long time and without it the society would crumble would crumble so um I am I'm overly excited at the opportunity to spread love and to bring love into my own life. Um, but the one verse that sticks out in my head is love is patient, love is kind. Love is patient. And one thing I do not have is patience. One thing I do not have is freaking patience at the moment. Um, but anyway, I wanted to also talk to you about some of the feelings um, that you get when you are around your twin flame. And I'll just do a few of them. Um, so, first thing that I felt when I was around my twin flame was an electric buzzing like the air was so staticky the air was so so like it's not just people describe it as a tension but it's not it's not just tension like sexual tension no it's more of a like you know you have an electric fence right and there's a right off of it and you know not to motherfucking test that shit yet uh -huh, until they turn that off that's what it is it is a blessing from Olodumare, from the creator from the universe that if anybody tries to stop it they're going to get fucking buzzed you know they are going to get you know let's just say that nobody could touch that that electric fence between you two number two uh type of feeling is an unrecognizable sense of reverence like 
if I can explain it as you, you, so they're a king, right? Or queen. And you know that they have the power to, to, they have the power. They have a power. And you are in awe at that understanding and that, that, that amazingness because you're just like, damn what is this what are you you know who are you you know and you're just like in awe and you're just like you would never say anything to disrespect them you would just you're just like oh my gosh like I fucking respect you more than you know so and that's another um indication third is telepathic abilities this shit is no fucking joke there's no it's no joke there's no fucking joke you hear that person in your head this is no joke if you feel that you are in a twin flame relationship which there's only 144,000 of you. So, some of y'all leaving y'all husbands and shit like that for somebody that you call a twin flame. All because you just didn't want to be in their relationship anymore. Because love is great. Love is grand, yes. But you also have to realize that not all people are twin flames. And one one reason and one main thing that I would talk about is if you can't hear your twin flame in your head and and telling you, okay, go open the door, get the door a little bit, or, or why are you thinking like that, or come talk to me, you know, if you can't hear your twin flame through telepathic communication, that ain't your twin flame, baby. That ain't. Okay? Because that shit is real. Anyway, so uh, what am I on? Number three? I'm on number four. Okay, so number four, you have the most amazing, wonderful dreams. You guys are together. You guys are, and it's almost like you have that like infinity sign in between you, pulling you two together. Um, I got right back in as soon as I started having my dreams I started to draw again like I was a child and um I'm starting to do painting and things like that like it's bringing out such an artistic sense in me that I haven't had since I was a little girl like when I was a little girl I used to set up I would draw pictures of people and then sell it to them and then also <clears throat> draw a picture of like a handwriting session put it up and then sit there <clears throat> and read people's palms when I was in elementary school you know telling them what love was uh who they're gonna marry and how many kids they're gonna I, I was just going off as, as a child you know at recess <clears throat> so spirituality and the occult and all this other stuff has always been a part of my blood has always been a part of my being um per se so the next um, thing, yeah, is dreams. Like, you can, it's like they're right there with you and you're floating in space. Um, you're like floating in space. And I had a dream where me and my twin flame were laying out in a, a bed, just cuddling. That's it. Just cuddling. And it was the most fantastic thing ever I didn't need I didn't need anything else but that moment and I will always I drew it I will always take that moment and I will reside with it because it was absolutely beautiful um so again dreams dreams and um visions and when you're sitting at you know work and you hear his voice or her voice right then and there you're just like okay cool i know exactly who, who you are and, and what's popping i get it 
All right, so the next um, sure indication of uh, a twin flame match, I would say it has to be like, like I said earlier, that it's almost like an infinity sign pooling in between your hearts. Um, and that infinity sign is how you guys both can start to heal each other. That infinity, that infinity sign between you two is how you communicate through healing, through your heart, through, um, through your body's like functionalities, you know? And one thing that I noticed is like, if I feel like a blockage, you know, between anything, like a blockage between us, I would draw that infinity sign and then I would visualize a block and then I would write, so I would draw the infinity sign with the block. I would draw the infinity sign with me inserting um, uh, atoms, like quantum, quantum atoms. Let's just say that. I don't know. Just inserting it into that, that blockage. And then I would draw it after when it's out. So you visualize the stuck because you can feel the stuck. But if you write and draw it down you can unstuck it you can <laughs> you can tear it apart you know you can make sure that that blockage is undrawn because creativity is another way to fuel um the collective creativity and um uh creativity energy is one of the purest energies that um, the collective can use for beneficial reasons and that's why when you have dreams drawing pictures would be cool uh, when you have dreams making um, I mean there's just so much you could do with creativity it doesn't just have to be drawing or painting um, I also do dance classes I, I try to do a lot so that I don't have to do so that I can search for things on my own without having to have my twin flame right here. Because the idea of our twin flame, everybody's always like, oh, it's the love of your life and da da da. Yeah, but that's not just it. You guys came here for a mission. You guys came here for a purpose. So it's not just about being together and loving each other. That's great. But your overall mission is given to you and you need to find that mission with your twin flame. Because if you're sitting there being like, oh, this is my twin flame. Oh my God, I love him. No, you have to figure out, you have to communicate with the universe to be like, okay, what's our mission? We came down here and we chose to come down here for a reason. So what's the reason? Help us out. And so when I so like the next way that you could also also know that your twin flame is your twin flame is if it's not easy not a lot of people when they find their twin flame both of you guys in a relationship or one of you is in a relationship that is the majority of twin flames also age range there is a a large gap in between you guys if you are a real twin flame because there's that's a long story I don't want to get into that when I was meditating when I found out why the age ranges are what the age ranges are it's not because what y'all think it's not what is it's not because of what everybody's perpetuating twin flames uh, age gap to be let's just say that the next thing that I um, that would indicate for sure that that is your twin flame besides your you know age gap would be um, just the sheer madness like emotions going up and down and around and around because you're like oh this person you know doesn't even know me doesn't like me 
it's basically helping you to shed your your 3d understanding of what love and life is you know so regardless if they know or if they feel you know if they're going to be apart from their partner if you're going to be apart from your partner any of that there's a divine intervention that you can only play with for so long before you get bit in the ass. So, if you are the person who are in a relationship and you know you have a twin flame and you know you have somebody that you know you're supposed to be with and you lollygagging, you know, trying to figure out the best, da 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 just know that the universe is not playing anymore. The universe is sick and tired of being sick and tired because the world is dying and we don't want another situation on our hands why these motherfuckers came down here in the first place because they ruined their own earth they ruined their own place and so there they came down here in order to like live the way they lived up there and destroy the earth because there's we were so blind and our eyes were so closed we didn't even understand that we had to fight back they use all of these tactics and and all of these other stuff in order to get us to fucking um forget about our missions so if you and your twin flame are in a hectic weird situation and not just because you want to leave your partner but because you have all the other abilities that I talked about before and you have confirmation that you are 144,000 you are you should have confirmation by now if you are part of the 144,000 period period it doesn't matter your race gender creed if you are part of the 144,000 you should know by now so the ultimate mission of everybody uh, a lot of the twin flames and everything is to raise the vibration of the universe the vibration of the universe allows us to live in harmony but also allows other people to come and help because the the lowest the lower the vibration the harder it is to communicate and the main thing that is inhabit in inhibiting us as a collective is fear they can deal with a lot of emotions and a lot of uh the um frequencies but fear is something that they cannot deal with like like it's almost like fire you know you can't touch it you can't because if you if it's just like saying hey if you want to be helped you have to help yourself so fear is one of those narratives that you have to get rid of in order for them to help you because you have to help yourself get out of fear so that's why i always tell people fear is the first thing that you deal with when you are awakening fear and fear takes a long time but that will also open the gates to a lot more problems a lot more issues so don't ever feel unworthy or or be like oh man i I can't deal with with you know love and lust and you can deal with all of those first too if you want but just know that everything leads back to fear Okay, so next, I mean, I think that's it. I think those are the main topics of discussion that I wanted to just reiterate on is the narrative of Twin Flames and, oh, there's one thing I wanted to add. So I have had communication with, I've had communication and keep saying how 
this is the last incarnation time or one of the last incarnation times so yes the earth is sick very 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 sick and the the amount of energy that's being passed through the universe right now, it's almost like they're sending us tons and tons and tons of data. But because there's only a few amount of awoken people, some people are getting a lot of the data and storing it. And so we have to start spreading our message. We have to start talking about it. We have to start posting about it. We have to start communicating because if we cannot communicate the message, then we are not a part of the blessings. We are not a part of the 144,000 if we cannot communicate what our feelings, our thoughts, um, how do we get out of here? How do we get out of the matrix? How do we do this? How do, if you cannot sit there and communicate to the people who are going to be um, looking up to you for answers, if you can't do that, then you are you can. Then you might as well try to just have a seat, baby. Don't try to meditate or get any messages or anything like that because if you're not passing it on, it's like you're just. You're just wasting time and wasting space. And I feel that some people are holding on to some fucking valuable information because they're afraid to seem crazy or they're afraid to seem like, you know, like they know it all or they're afraid to seem like this or that. Who gives a fuck what everybody else thinks? I don't. So what you need to do is pass on pass on the information just uh, just like i'm not gonna sit there and coach you 24 7 860 365 and all you're doing is keep your information no people are going through the awakening and they're doing it by themselves they don't know to go like to the occult store and find a fucking book on you know spiritualism it's beyond them Sometimes we have to reach out to other people. You throw out a line to see if the fish will bite. If the fish bites, feed. Pull them up. Feed them. Then throw them back in the river. So they can start telling their fish buddies. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's literally that simple. When you get information, you pass information. When you get a communication and you keep that shit in, I'ma find you and I'ma be pissed. As, I'm gonna be pissed the fuck off. How about that? No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, we need to start passing the information and it's hindering our progress. Alright, well, like I like to say is um I know that y'all don't some of y'all don't even understand what I'm talking about. But just know that I love you. I love you, mama. I love you, granny. I love you, goosey goosey. Um, pass on the knowledge. Focus on love. Um, Oshun is here. Isis is here. They have, She has awoken in a fierce veracity. She's trying to communicate with all of her children. Dang. Like, whoo. That energy is fucking raw. And as a matriarch and of, of humanity, she needs to be revered and she needs to be respected. So what y'all need to do is focus a lot more on love and love will find you. Because she can read your heart. She can read the vibrations of your heart and your mind, but mainly your heart. And then she can come into your life and start spreading it and allow you to find your twin flame. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, if you have any questions about what I was just talking about, all you got to do is hit me up. Um, I don't do pay. For, you don't have to pay for anything. There's no charges. I'll read your card. I'll give you as much knowledge as I have for free. Yep.